What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akulai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. With this one, we're going to be taking a look at Call of Duty 2017. And now, that does sound a little bit crazy because Infinite Warfare literally just came out 10 days ago. We still have a long, long future ahead of us with Infinite Warfare and of course Modern Warfare Remastered as well. Getting new content here by December 31st, finishing off the multiplayer maps. But of course, given the circumstances, it is something that everybody wants to know already. What about next year? Because, well, a lot of people don't necessarily see this as the most successful launch of a game. And honestly, I quite agree with it. I do enjoy Infinite Warfare for what it is, but it is something that I totally understand the concern and different viewpoints here with the game. But all that said, we might have a little bit of a look in as to Call of Duty 2017's title on our hands today. But before we get too far into it, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with everything here at Call of Duty. But let's talk about the 2017 rumors and air quote leaks that happened here recently. So if you guys do not follow video gaming all that much, this might not be something that you've even heard of, let alone care about. But there has been a voice actor strike that's been going on in the video game industry. If you guys don't know what voice actors are, Right now, they're actually a little bit more than just voice actors for some of the games that we play as Call of Duty fans, FPS fans, all that good stuff. A lot of these guys duel as not only offering their voices to the game, but also their likelihood in terms of physical appearance with motion capture and various different other things with it. So voice actors are an integral part into games, whether it be the voices or the entire actor as a whole. It is something that they are very much so needed going forward in the future of video games. They don't feel like they're getting much compensation or as much compensation as they should be, but SAG-AFTRA or the Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, are taking a stand for the actors that are in video games here and that do deserve better compensation for what they're doing, but it is something that, in accordance with this, they have listed all the actors and their scheduled projects that they're working on up on their site, and the one that is very interesting and one we care about is a listing for Call of Duty Lethal Combat, also known as Call of Duty Stronghold. So, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with all the Call of Duty titles in the franchise, but those are none of those that are already out there. Those are brand new titles, brand new, what is more than likely code names for the development of the game, but they are listed right there in its entirety. This is something we have seen many, many times before in previous years with different code names for the development, but it is something that could offer a little glimpse into what we can see with 2017. Sledgehammer is the next developer up, whether or not they follow the theory of mine that we're gonna be going back to boots on the ground here as a result of the past three years and the poor taste that it's left in fans' mouths, it is something that Sledgehammer has an opportunity to take a hold of the franchise and turn it around or drive it into the ground more as some people would consider. With a very logical out for Sledgehammer not to continue Advanced Warfare 2 but to pursue something else, that would be a Vietnam title which they started in development back before Modern Warfare 3, it got scrapped and then they got placed with Modern Warfare 3 into that development. So they have had the idea of Vietnam, Glenn Schofield even said himself that he would love to revisit that idea and revisit that narrative they were trying to tell with that game, but it is something that that would be their out that could be something that honestly we could see and the way that the things have gone in recent years with so much negativity on the exo movement the thruster movement the verticality all that good stuff people want boots on the ground so we can't really see any of that future tech back in the 70s era with all this so it would be something once again quite logical and whether or not it comes to actually happen like that it is interesting to see that many voice actors have been listed for COD Stronghold and COD Lethal Combat. That, once again, is something that we've never seen before, and while it is a little too early to say whether or not there are going to be specific actors to be confirmed by Activision and all that kind of stuff, that's something we don't get until April or May-ish of next year. It definitely is something to take a look at and think about because, well, we have a very pivotal point in the Call of Duty franchise coming up, and this might be our first look in and teaser at that. So, once again, recapping just for you guys, SAG-AFTRA, the organization with the strikes for voice actors going on right now. Reveal the names of COD Stronghold and COD Lethal Combat, but it is something that, though these don't exist, they're more than likely code names for the real title coming out next year. And so, therefore, the air quote leaks, if you want to call it that, have started for next year already. But that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you think it's gonna be a Vietnam War era Call of Duty game? Or do you think it's gonna be something else entirely? Or do you think that the series will totally shoot itself in the foot and continue very far into the future with space and other things like that? 
that people have expressed disinterest in as of recently. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything here on the channel. But I want to say thank you guys so much for the continued support. We just hit 50,000 subscribers today. It is absolutely mind-blowing to me and honestly, very, very humbling. So thank you guys so much for the continued support. Can't wait to keep on this grind here with you guys. And let's go on for 100,000 together. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.